is our bird, Kia. She is a harpy eagle. Her full name is Ka Ata Kia. That means moon goddess in Aztec. She is 19 years old. She recently turned 19, actually. Now, the eagle species of harpies are actually one of the top three largest eagle species out there. That rates right up there with the Philippine eagle and the stellar sea eagle. Some can have longer wingspans, individuals can be a little bit bigger, smaller, but they're all grouped together as the top three largest. So these guys, they live in South America, all the way from Central South America up to Mexico. And they stay in the larger biomes of like the tropical jungles. They'll roost up at the highest tree. And since it's such a large bird, they actually take on things such as sloths and monkeys and iguanas and even other birds. They'll fly through the limbs and then they'll flip upside down and they'll latch onto their prey item and pull it from the tree. These guys have incredible eyesight. They can see something as small as a quarter from up to 220 yards away. They use that incredible eyesight to spot anything through the jungle leaves. And once they finally spot that item, they'll fly off and take it down. She's got a crushing pressure of about 300 to 500 PSI. So she can easily impale and break bones. Miss Kia, what she gets normally is things like rabbits and quail and even rats. Now sometimes she gets a little bit of extra. If anything decides that it wants to crawl across or get in through the bottom, she will definitely take it on. So every now and then I'll come in and there will be a possum hanging way up in the roost or a raccoon that unfortunately did not win the fight. Now they really like the larger prey items because they can snack on it for the next couple days. It's a lot less effort. These guys are the apex predator of their area. Unfortunately though, if they do go to the ground, which is very rarely, other things like big cats can easily take her down. We do target training here. Uh, this is where we have a little target that we hang up on the fence. She comes up to it and she's got to touch her beak right up to the target. Once she touches the target, she gets a treat. Now we use that to manipulate her throughout the environment. For instance, if we need to go clean her pool or rake anything out, we can shift her inside by moving this target into an area that we can close a door. It's all voluntary. Next time you come by the zoo, come check out Miss Kia. She is an absolutely gorgeous bird and she loves company and she's a big hit with the guests. <laughs>